I think it would have to be probably um, the storytelling that was done in my family, uh, particularly my extended family. Uh, that's not to say that that what was in my nuclear family wasn't loaded with great storytelling, but uh, growing up, that's what um, engaged me. That's that's what I found interesting. That was the reason to. Um, maybe speak up because I was very quiet as a child, shy, skinny little kid who was always off to the side. Uh, but if this aunt or uncle would start telling some kind of a story, particularly a funny one um, or a kind of a frightening one, that that would that would perk me up, and it would perk everyone else up. Yes, it's it's what I'm trying to do uh, when I write. Uh, it is storytelling. Um, I think that for a while when I uh, was in academia and went to quote unquote learn how to write um, and then was in academia trying to teach other people how to write, there was a notion that storytelling was sort of a secondary lesser pursuit um, and that uh, the, the quality of the sentence, the quality of the writing, the poesy was what we needed to work on. And I certainly then paid attention to that and bought that uh, line. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I think ultimately one finds out, uh, having gone through, through polishing a lot of sentences and even getting into maybe writing and publishing poetry for a while, that that's not what the bulk of humanity wants. They, yes, we all love to, uh, drop the name of a po poet that we all admire and and there's one poem maybe or one sentence that we all think is the very best. The last sentence in The Great Gatsby, you know, pick, take your pick. Um, but we want story, I think, as human beings, the bulk of us, the 99%, uh, pretty sure. We want a story. So uh, I, I, all all this while later, I think the very thing that I sensed when I was a kid that I liked, I think I now know for sure. That's 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 what people want. Uh, it's, I like that question because I, I I like thinking about that. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, it's it is hard to describe. I'm sure everyone you ask is probably going to start with that sentence. Um, I would say uh, to say it's out of body is is kind of cliche and not even accurate. It's it's you you actually are sort of in your body maybe even more than you're less in your mind. Let's put it that way. You're less in this sort of uh, now I'm gonna sit down and write and I need to write my first sentence of my first paragraph and this novel needs to be this way and so I'm going to I need to do this because this is what the genre requires and what readers expect and what this agent once said I needed to do and that editor once said I needed to do. So that's very heady and and it slows one down and it's, it's nothing wrong with that. Yes, you have to hit all those beats. You can't make any mistakes. You have to be perfect, all that. But um, that's a slowing feeling and that's very intellectual. I think once you start tapping into the story, I think, um, that thing that I'm shooting for, and I hope that, th and I know the thing that 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 readers really want, um, and I hope I'm giving them. Um, then, then, then something kind of frenetic happens. It's sort of, um, it's sort of like waiting for a train, and and um, you know, if that damn train would come, I, I we could be there like that. You know, an express train. Um, if we're talking subways, and you're kind of waiting, and you're kind of waiting, you could walk, and boy, but if you walked, you know, it's just one step after another, and it's thoughtful, and, but, you know, here comes that train, and it's a little bit like, say the train would come in, 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 in Times Square, and you wanted to get an express train, I wanted to go back to the Upper West Side, and, and, and it would come, and it, but it would, it would not stop completely, it would, it would kind of You'd hear it coming, it'd come whisk, whisking by, it would slow down a little, and you better get on that thing. So you better start, the typing is how you're getting on. You're sort of latching into that story, and, um, and it has to go fast. And almost all the time it feels like you're not 
your fingers are not working fast enough, your mind for all of its, you know, caffeine and limberness is just, it's, 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 it's doing what it can and, and, and you're, you're trying to get it down, but, but, you know, and you're going to go for as long as you can under that sort of, it's almost a duress, but at the same time, it's a, it's a, it's a high. So, uh, you just try to get it down as much as possible. And that, and that, that train, that story, that thing knows what it's doing. It's way bigger than you. It's the thing you really want to deliver. And, um, and you better get down for, for this period of time as much of it as you can and then hope to God, you know, on either that same train comes back and gives you more of it or, or, or another one does because you, it's, you can't keep up with it for, you know, 24 hours a day. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just say this directly to you, Marsha, to start and you can edit this out if you want. When I first saw that question um, and knew that I would have to talk about it, uh, it was a one of those days, but b um, just with how everything is in the world. I my thought was they don't. People don't need it. They don't want it. Um, people don't want to read. If they're going to read anything, it's a tweet. Uh, what is it? A hundred? I don't even know. I'm 140 characters and. Oh my God, don't make it a long tweet. It strikes me that people just don't want to read for the most part. Um, and it's difficult for a writer to acknowledge that that might be true. It's difficult for me to acknowledge that that might be true when I've made a lot of choices in my life to be a quote unquote writer and um, to think that. I mean, that's like deciding I'm going to be a <clears throat> maintenance guy and garbage Man, and people suddenly one day decide, well, we don't really care if you take our garbage out or not. Just leave it. I mean, what's, what, what am I here for then? Well, that was a dumb decision. Um, so on the, one, on the one hand, I think there's some truth to that, particularly now. Um, on the other hand, you know, the longer you've been a writer, the more you have these notions and you hear them from your other writer friends and you do hear them from some of the people who read and who have enjoyed reading fiction or whatever they're reading, uh, particularly if they've told you they liked what you've written. Uh, that, that, I guess, keeps you going. Um, what, what it is that they're really looking for um, is hard for me to come up with right on the spot today. I could have answered this question a lot differently 10 years ago. I could have gone off and said, well, um, you're gonna learn the point of view of other people and you're gonna be more empathetic and you're gonna learn that there's conflict because every story has conflict and, and then it can be resolved and that there's a happy ending and, and um, we can all get along. And, and I, I actually believe that. That's why I wa wrote Watch Me Go. That's what goes on in that book. Uh, but then to see how that book was received and um, as well to just kind of watch the world now, if you just look at what's going on, um, watching the news, um, it does not seem like people are interested in being empathetic. Mm -hmm. It seems like that's almost a frightening and um, uh, very, not 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 a cool thing to say. It's you know, come on, join the crowd. We're, we're this is the hatred society now, and why would you want to write a story? You know, why are you going to try to write something that's going to make me feel what it's like to be X person who's not like me? I just care about myself. I mean, that's very cynical. But today, you, you know, right now, this morning, that's that's how I feel about it. So my, 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 my quick answer, and we can give another answer that's nicer, but my quick answer would be, they don't, I have nothing that you want. You know, maybe the hope is that um, if I can come up with some kind of story, uh, the way my aunts and uncles and grandparents did, that somehow, despite all of this, would still get you. You know, I don't know, do I have to make you laugh? Maybe I have to make you laugh. Maybe I have to... Maybe it shouldn't be so serious. Maybe it should not be in the least political. Maybe I should never, ever try to write from the point of view of a woman or a black person or, or get into serious 
relationship things and the reasons why people hate each other and don't understand each other. Uh, maybe I should just dodge all that and, 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 and just make you laugh or I don't know. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying there's, there's no hope for it. There has to be. Otherwise, why, why are we here, Marsha? What, what, what are we, why am I even talking to you? Why did I come down here? And why are you doing this film? Um, we want to know, we, we still want to know, like, is that, is that how we feel when a story is there, um, worth it for more than just us, the writers, you know, <laughs> are the other people really buying it? I mean, do they even care? If I get excited about something when I'm writing it, do they, you know, I, we want to believe that, that that translates into something that they really, really want. And I, and I, I think it doesn't always all, all the time. Sometimes it's just good for us, the writer, at the time. Um, but I guess I would, I would still say um, there's got to be, it might just be less likely that we can crank out a novel or a short story or, or something and, and everyone will go, wow, that was great. You know, I love that story. Great story. Um, I think it's just a lot less likely. I think it's a lot more likely that somebody will say, that's what's wrong with that story. You offended me with that. That's a problem. What's wrong with you? Why did you use that word? Uh, and so, um, you know, there's, there's a much, much higher likelihood of that than there was 10 years ago. I think um, another thing other than what I talked about the first time would be sports. And I cringe saying this because among writers, boy, are sports despised. And it just seems to be not sports metaphors. Oh, my God. I roll. But it's just true for me. I grew up playing them. I grew up watching them. And there's something about the end of a game, win or lose, that miraculous game-winning shot from 50 feet out, that, that Hail Mary touchdown pass thrown by Bart Starr. I grew up being a Green Bay Packer fan. Say what you will about Wisconsin. Um, it, and, and everyone in the crowd stands up and cheers, and we're all in love with what's going on. Um, that, that is, you know, that's the best. That'll get me kind of teary-eyed. And, and I think... Um, other than what I was saying before, uh, if you can, if I, if, you, if a person could replicate that with words somehow, that uh, that that same sort of intensity and celebration, and I can't even think of the word for it. Um, but if you could string together uh, three hundred pages in a novel, and at the very end, uh, the reader would feel like that. A bunch of them, like the twenty thousand people in the stands. And they'd all be thinking, wow, you know, that, well, then you'd have something. Uh, it's, it's a combination, in that case, of, of uh, relief and excitement at the same time. The pressure is off of me because the story has taken over and I'm sort of just a scribe. And then I'm excited because I have that opportunity. So you're keyed up. Uh, and you're kind of you're kind of relaxed. You're kind of uh, loosey goosey a little bit. Uh, um, and to go back also to the sports analogy, or to talk about sports again, dare I? Um, it's I, I love playing basketball. It's the same thing that happens when you are are on with your shot. You you you've been you've been going along. You've been shooting. You've been playing, and 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 it's just you miss most of the time or half the time and then all of a sudden you get on a if you've ever had like that shooting streak you want that ball and you're just you're, you're like I'm on I give it to me I don't even care um, I'm relieved because I know this is probably gonna go in and 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 you're excited you, you like come on give me the ball let's go and and uh, it's 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 fun it, it's, it's really the ultimately it's fun